Hi and welcome to Oriktober, a celebration of the Oric computers from the 1980s in the month of October 2021. So in this video, I thought what I'd do is maybe use a game, uh, load a game from back in the day to see how it might have implemented its colours and its graphics based on some of the serial attribute uh, description videos that I gave uh, earlier this week. Uh, so uh, you can look at those um, videos if you want to, or just uh, have a look at this game. And the game that I'm going to uh, load is called Scuba Dive by Dural Software. Um, and what I like about this game is, uh, number one, back in the day, to actually have a mainstream software house supporting the Oric was just uh, very nice. Uh, but also because it was a cross-platform game, maybe you can compare it with versions uh, that you might be familiar with and see how does the Oric uh, one version uh, stand up to those. Um, so let's start loading. I'm just using the uh, PC to um, play a WAV file of the game and um, it's just connected to the uh, tape input of the Oric from the headphone outputs of the PC. So let's give that a couple of minutes and I will just pause it here rather than that uh, expecting everybody to uh, wait for the whole thing to complete. So uh, come back to this in a moment. Okay, so it's loaded. And the first thing that we can do is either type in a skill number from one to five or adjust the sound. Um, before we go on to do that, I um, just want to um, remind everyone that I am using a real Auric. Here we have an Auric Atmos. Don't worry about this ROM board, it's not actually connected. Um, so I'm using the Auric Atmos with the standard 1.1 basic ROM and connected by a start lead to the um, my, my LCD TV. So um, what should we do? Uh, maybe first I'll adjust the sound. Um, before we do that, actually, just uh, an interesting um, thing that you might see there is the um, the air bar and it's blue on white um, either side of it you've got black and then you've got air in white so one might wonder how is that done <clears throat> and it's something that I didn't cover in the video but when the inverse bit is set um, you the the auric will display the um, uh, basically a bitwise uh, inverse of the, the colour that the attribute is setting. So I don't think I really explain much about that. It's kind of an advanced, for want of a better term, kind of way to get a few more colours on the screen than meets the eye. And, and that kind of reminds me, maybe that's what I need to do next, is um, talk about some of the more clever ways that people have used and can use attributes. So that'll be for another video. Um, the other things you can see are the octopus, which is in red, uh, but note that there is some blank space um, to the left of the octopus that will allow the attributes to be set to set the octopus to be uh, red. And then you have the little oyster shells, clam shells. Um, they are in yellow, but again, you can see uh, conceptually anyway that there would be an attribute to set that to, to yellow. Um, where you see the landscape, uh, the, uh, the seabed, it's, it's green, um, but again, you can see that the oyster, uh, the clamshells or whatever they are, um, there's, a, there's a blank space after a yellow clamshell before you see the green seabed, and that allows an attribute colour change, essentially. So, so at the moment, it's, it's nothing too uh, out of the ordinary for what, we, um, what we've been seeing. So let's 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 do the sound first. Maybe make it loud enough so you can hear it. Um, press enter to, uh, and then let's let's play the game. I mean, really, uh, you're probably wanting to play, watching me play the game and play it badly. So here goes. So the objective of the game is to um, is to basically swim swim around, collect clamshell uh, when they're open you can collect them um, and then get back to them. see this is what I hate about this game so and also it's really awful that sound effect 
So that green kind of, I don't know, like floating starfish thing, it just randomly appears. Um, and it's really infuriating because I, I don't think it's fair. You don't, you don't really get a chance to, uh, but yeah, look, look, it just, it just floats about. And, and, and there's nothing you can do about it. If, it if it randomly appears in your path and when you collect something you know, that's what it, so anyway one thing I was going to show is the attributes you can see um, when um, the red of the the red of the octopus arms can get interfered so watch the watch the green there yeah you see the green starfish there it interfered with the attribute colors so that's just how, um, that's just the restriction of the Oric, I'm afraid. Um, but, and that's not fair either, is it? And that's not even skill, I would say. Um, the octopus arm just decided to reach out uh, and I had no chance. So let's have another go. Let's go down. Um, and then I'll try and stay far enough away from the octopus arm uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping I can get somewhere now I think there's ways to collect air but I can't remember but you see my air bar is going down so what we need to do is make sure that uh, I don't I don't go too far into the caverns and then unable to get back. And this is where I found it quite annoying because what happened there? My goodness. Okay. Well, that was an example of me playing scuba dive really badly. Um, Let's play on skill level five and just see how crazy that is. Because that was skill level one, and I was rubbish. Oh uh, yeah. So so now it's kind of like Frogger. You've got to get through this bit here with all the different species of fish and sharks and and rays and and eels and whatever um, without hit, getting hit by anything. Um, and, and actually, you can even hear the game has slowed down because. Um, there's so many objects on the screen. Um, my diver is not really making fast progress here. Um, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, come on. Ooh. Oh, look at all this. I don't... Good, isn't it? I've got a lot of treasure here to uh, be able to uh, collect. I really don't know what is the purpose of this uh, this particular star thing that just goes making funny sounds. I don't know what it is. I actually don't know what it's meant to be. Can I, this would be good, wouldn't it, if I can actually get back to the boat. Uh, I'm playing it cautiously because I've got plenty of air. That's good. I've got 400 points. I've never had that many points. Uh, well, I can't remember how many points I had before. So you can see the different attributes um, that are... Well, clearly there's some attributes here that are colouring in the, the background. Ooh, that was close. Um, colouring in the uh, foreground rather than the background, I meant to say. Um, but, oh, you see, that was... I think, I think basically I can avoid the, uh, this, I don't know what it is, but look, my, my man has gone red now because um, it's obviously the, the, the green, ah, and look, the, 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 the arm on the, and the octopus went green as well. So, so that's some of the restrictions of the um, the auric, uh in terms of its attributes. You know, you literally can't change colours without having a gap in the middle. And when you're trying to do moving graphics, as you saw, you basically get kind of attributes um, 
being uh, overwritten or not being able to be drawn and and that makes it hard to do very colorful graphics um, without some kind of clash and in a way it, it's a little bit i suppose like the attributes clash like you can see there look the display the display isn't quite looking right i, I suppose it's a bit like um a spectrum's um, infamous attribute clash but but for for a different for a different reason um and that's um uh, it's a different reason altogether because uh, it, it's to do with the fact that you can't have two attributes or you can't have a display and an attribute uh, code in the same space on the screen. Um, so it's a different kind of issue, but uh, in, in a way you, you're getting that kind of strange um, um, artifacts uh, coming up on the on the screen. So yeah, I'm, I'm rambling now, so I better stop. But uh, hopefully uh, that gave you an insight of two things. One is um, a little bit of how attributes are implemented in the real game and also a real game from back in the day that was available on other platforms and uh, quite interested to hear from people in terms of their um, memories of uh, playing scuba dive on their platform um, thank you for watching if you're still watching this and um, see you again soon